the joy of music. My name is Diane Bish, and I would like to invite you to join us today as we bring you a program from the tiny country of Luxembourg. Squeezed between its neighbors, Germany, Belgium, and France, this amazing country offers medieval fortifications to the most modern of 20th century life and art. I invite you to join us for music from the awesome Luxembourg Notre Dame Cathedral with sights and sounds we think you'll find fascinating on today's musical journey of Luxembourg. Upon first arriving at the capital of Luxembourg, one is amazed by the awesome medieval fortifications and massive gates. And yet, look to the left, and you are in the 20th century with its modern buildings and hustle bustle of contemporary life. Not long ago, Luxembourg was only a cluster of small farms and modest lifestyles, but today it is a banking and political center boasting the highest per capita income in the world. In the midst of this modern day life stands an ancient monument of faith, the Cathedral Notre Dame of Luxembourg, reminding those who daily scurry to and fro in life's frantic activity that faith alone stands firm and tranquil in the scene of passing years. today comes from the Cathedral Notre Dame of Luxembourg. Dating back to the 17th century, the church contains a beautiful Baroque organ gallery and crypt with tombs of the ancestors of the royal family of Luxembourg. 
There are two great organs in the Notre Dame Cathedral. One organ was built in 1938 by George Haupt from Luxembourg and contains 84 stops, four manuals with a symphonic character. The other organ was built in 1995 by George Westenfelder, the successor of George Haupt. It is a classical organ containing 60 stops and four manuals. Luxembourg is one of the smallest countries in the United Nations and comprises only 999 square miles. Over the years it has defied invasion, occupation and siege until its neutrality was guaranteed by the 1867 Treaty of London. Its remaining walls remind us of its history as one of the strongholds of Europe.
It is my pleasure to welcome today to the Joy of Music trumpeter Pierre Kramer of Luxembourg. He is a member of the Luxembourg Brass Ensemble and also a member of the Brass Quintet of Lorraine, France. He will join me as I play the great symphonic organ of George Haupt. The earliest castle of Luxembourg dates from 963 and was the most heavily fortified point. From the Bach promontory, steep cliffs plunged to the Alzette Valley below. In the lower town of Luxembourg City, known as the Grund, we find houses used as refuge for nobles and churchmen from the area. The musical journey of Luxembourg would not be complete without a visit to the World War II Memorial at Bastogne and the Luxembourg American Cemetery. A poignant reminder of the great sacrifices and demands of war, our hearts and prayers went out to those who lost loved ones in the difficult battles of World War II. Found on the chapel wall of the American Cemetery is this inscription in proud remembrance of the achievements of her sons and in humble tribute to their sacrifices, this memorial has been erected by the United States of America.
the most unique towns not far from Luxembourg City is Externach, which lies on the bank of the Sewer River, dividing Germany and Luxembourg. If you love music, there's an international music festival here every June. And if you come to Esternach, don't miss the town square with its old patrician houses, narrow streets, and ancient ramparts. Esternach as a town goes back 1,300 years, and ancient buildings such as the Abbey of St. Willebrot of the 7th century and the St. Peter and Paul Church are said to be some of the oldest in the country. The town hall is an amazing building with its statues of the saints and historical figures. Far from the city of Luxembourg is the medieval town of Vianden. Extremely picturesque, it is set on the banks of the Our River. An outer wall with guard towers circle the town, and found within are buildings and manors which date back to the 9th century. Behind me stands the most picturesque and probably the most famous castle in all of Luxembourg. It also dates back to the 9th century when it was built by a wealthy family and has been added to and lived in over the years by wealthy feudal masters and counts. The town remains much the same as it was years ago. Winding narrow streets have preserved their medieval charm while the castle has been restored to its former splendor. One of the gems in Vianden is its beautiful Trinitarian church, which dates back to 1248. It's not very often that one is allowed to play an organ in a church that dates back to the 13th century. From the literature explaining the church, we read from the Psalms, So we will go to your altar, O God our friend, and we will happily praise you with a harp, O Lord, our Lord. 
We played the organ dating back to 1693 in the Trinitarian Church. Today the joy of music has come to you from Luxembourg, a country of rich past history and exciting dreams for the future, with music from the Luxembourg Notre Dame Cathedral. We hope you have been enriched by the sights and sounds of this fascinating country. Thank you for joining us and we look forward to seeing you again next week on The Joy of Music. The Joy of Music would like to thank Federal Express for providing special transportation. <music> Diane Bisch and The Joy of Music wish to thank Lufthansa German Airlines for their support in making this program possible. <music>